The Central Coast may soon be home to a mental health facility. KSPY's Alex Gonzalez is live for us from Lompoc, where that facility is set to open and has reaction from nearby residents. Alex. Well, good evening, Richard. That facility would be operated by Crestwood Behavioral Health, which is a privately owned mental health service provider here in the state of California. But residents in the area are concerned about what that could mean for their neighborhood, especially when it comes to security. We need facilities for the mental health. My only one concern is that we don't, they are not planning on having security around the building. And I feel for this area especially that we do need that security. An 80 bed mental health facility could soon be opening their doors at the Champion Center in Lompoc. The facility was last used about two years ago as a substance abuse center. The center, which is owned by Lompoc Valley Medical Center, says they're in the process of finalizing the agreement with privately owned Crestwood Behavioral Health, who will run the operation. According to Lompoc Valley Medical Center CEO Steve Bopkin, Crestwood will have a contract with the county to provide care to 32 of the county's patients. Residents of County of Santa Barbara, uh, when they need such services, are being um, placed and referred to uh, 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 facilities and locations uh, all over Southern and Northern California. So this will definitely be a um, step in the right direction and filling a a void that currently exists in the county. And while residents understand there's a need for mental health resources, some have concerns. We were told there is not going to be certified physicians on staff. We were also told that there is no security for this facility and the residents are, um, we're very concerned. Now, after receiving public input from residents at a meeting just last month, two sections were added to the letter of intent between the two groups, one in regards to having daily security presence here on the property and the other to mitigate parking in the area. I also did reach out to Crestwood for comment but did not hear back. Reporting live in Lompoc, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. All right, Alex, thank you. According to Popkin, more work has to be done to finalize the lease, but it could be signed as soon as the end of this month or the beginning of February. Facility is expected to employ between 75 and 85 workers.